Be sure to watch this video to the end because at the end I'm going to put in a, uh, a little bit of a machine crash on this job. So uh, watch to the end. In order for the uh, to clear both chucks, I have to pull, cut the first few grooves um, unsupported. So once we get a few grooves in there, we'll go ahead and support it. This part could be optimized and sped up a little bit. I do it later in the program. Uh, but just to test, this was going a little slow. That tool change isn't necessary anymore either, but it keeps doing it. Alright, here it synchronizes the subspindle and reclamps. Pretty sure it's not necessary, but I resync the subspindle every time uh, right here. I think synchronizing it once at the beginning is enough. Well, that's pretty much it. This is one of our uh, jobs we do a ton of. Here's some of the finished rods. We put flats on the ends and the um, Haas, and then that's pretty much it. They, these still need to be cleaned up, um, but otherwise they're ready to go. I'll go ahead and set up the next uh, clip here. The next clip, um, I was getting the camera ready and everything, and I accidentally picked up the... Um, the stop that my brother was using on the other lathe, so I set my uh, stock too far out. Um, and of course, you'll see what happens. Whoa, 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 whoa! Caught that on video, too. <laughs> couldn't help but leave the audio on the slow-mo. I think it was, uh, I think that was hilarious. Um, the machine was okay. The lights went off because I actually hit the, uh, power button instead of, uh, reset or, um, e-stop. I was in, like, a super panic when it happened. I saw it coming, but I couldn't get to the button fast enough. I just hit the closest one. Anyway, the machine's fine. Even the insert was fine. It actually, uh, just hit on the hold down clamp that holds the insert down. It did however snap a half inch um, 304 stainless bar um, pretty cleanly. Thanks for watching guys.